and it's not everybody that is ready or cut out mentally cut out to be packing or shoveling snow in the morning <laughs> beautiful people welcome back to the canada info channel my name is wolo i am an rcic based in new brunswick canada i used to be a manitoban still a manitoban love manitoba um, maybe one of these days i'll do a video comparing new brunswick versus manitoba although i have not explored new brunswick i have to be sincere um <laughs> but i will do a bit i'll do a small video anyway but if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you want to get immigration updates and life in Canada updates, this is the channel. And to my old subscribers, thank you so much for being loyal. I really appreciate you guys. Today's video is quite, I won't say it's controversial or as controversial. Not, I don't think it's going to be as controversial as the last one I did concerning not buying a house in Canada. Um, this time around, I'm going to talk about not buying a condo in Canada. Do not invest in a condo. Whether you want to do it as an investment property or whatever, I'm going to tell you the reasons why you should not invest in a condo in Canada. Yes, some people will say um, living in a condo or buying a condo is more like for convenience. You know, you, Canada has long season of winter where you have lots of snow, especially if you're living in places like Manitoba. I mean, you have lots of snow. and It's not everybody that is ready or cut out mentally cut out to be packing or shoveling snow in the morning i mean it's crazy <laughs> not everybody's cut out for that especially when there's a snowstorm you know nobody's nobody's cut out for shoveling snow in the morning so people who do not want to be doing that they prefer to buy condos or buy a townhouse where they will not do so much outside activities in terms of shoveling snow or clearing snow so but besides the advantage of buying a condo um i'm going to talk about the disadvantages especially if you want to invest in a condo number one reason why you should not buy a condo is the condo fees okay so let me explain for those who don't know what a condo is a condo is all these kind of high-rise buildings i'll put a picture so that you can see what i'm talking about you have all these high-rise buildings and inside these buildings you have swimming pool you have a gym you have a lounge um you have a lot of amenities within the condo building such that it makes you comfortable it feels like you're living in a hotel you know so and because of that there is what you call the condo fees and the condo fees is an additional amount of money that is deducted from your account besides your mortgage now that money it's used for maintenance, it's used for insurance, it's used for reserve funds in case there's any major repair that will be needed, any major replacement, maybe like the elevator broke down, they have to replace the elevator, they will take the money from the reserve funds of the condo. If the, what do you call it now, if they, ha if they have to clean the windows, if they have to change the roof, the monies will be taken from the reserve funds of the condo. Now, some condos, their reserve funds were not properly managed and you could see that the condo fees is even much more higher compared to what you pay for mortgage on that condo so and the money keeps increasing every year you know it keeps increasing every year it's a money that you as long as you own a condo you have to pay your condo fees this is one reason why i don't encourage anybody buying a condo because of the fees the fees keeps increasing every year and then if there's a major repair, they will still come back and take more money from you. So number one reason, the condo fees. If you had your own house, you can manage yourself. You know, you can save money, but you manage yourself. You know how you, you spend your money. Not that you're paying mortgage and then you're not paying an extra money on condo fees. And this money is not as if it's coming down any day. It's always increasing every year. So that's number one reason. Number two reason is limited control over your property. So you think you own a condo or you think that you can make decisions about your condo. No. Sadly, the condo management that is in charge of managing all the unit owners, they are the ones in charge. They are the ones in control of your condo. They have all these rules and regulations that they have put in place such that you are restricted from doing a lot of things 
I, in my last video, I mentioned where somebody put a sticker on her door and they told her to remove the sticker because it was against the condo bylaws. There are lots of rules, you know, and you don't, you don't just do anything. They control you in your own house. So you cannot do renovation without taking permission. You cannot rent without taking permission. You cannot park your car anywhere without taking permission. You have to take permission from the condo management. So, I mean... This is you owning a condo, but you have to keep taking permission for everything. If you want to paint your house, you take permission. If you want to use a space, let's say you want to use the lobby, you take permission. You want to do something in your house, you want to renovate, you take permission. You want to take something out, you want to, you take permission. You want to move out of your house, you will still take permission. You want to move in, you will still take permission from the condo management. So it's crazy. I mean, that this number two reason is very very annoying <laughs> permission for your own property it's very annoying very annoying number three reason you could have potential conflicts with the condo board and once you have a potential conflict with the condo board they could term you as a, a stubborn person and then they want to do things to force you out of your condo or make you sell the condo in fact, if I if I'm going to advise you, if you're in such a situation, sell the condo so that you can breathe. I mean, sell the condo so that you can breathe. You can imagine living under rules, especially when you own a condo, does not make any sense to me. Like you want to move out, they are telling you you should give them seven days notice to move out. You give if you give them two days notice, they'll give you a fine of two hundred and fifty dollars. If you don't even give them a notice that you're moving out and they know that you moved out, they'll give you a fine of $500. If you want to rent your space out, you have to pay $1,000. In Manitoba, you pay $1,500 if you want to rent your condo out. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, it is crazy. If I say don't buy a, ha a house, like, don't ever, ever think of buying a condo as an investment property in Canada. Don't. Don't consider it any way, in any way. If you want to even do an Airbnb, they will tell you there's a restriction around Airbnb. You cannot use your property for Airbnb. You know, so these are the reasons. This is number three reason why you should not buy a condo. Number four reason is resale. Resale challenge. Condos are very difficult to sell. Maybe in Ontario, yes, they can be easy to sell. But other places, condos are very, very difficult to sell. And the property, like condos do not appreciate as much as house, houses appreciate, you know. And because of this issue of condo management, condo fees, you hardly see people who are buying condos. It's only people who are doing real estate investments that want to put it out for rent, probably they don't mind. Those are the group of people that actually buy condos, you know, and they don't, they want to keep it for a long term. So if you're going to keep it for a very long term, you've made up your mind that it's an investment property that will be for a long term, then go ahead, you can buy a condo. But if you feel that it's something that you want to sell in the future, that you've thought about it, you can't afford a house, you can't afford a condo, please don't buy a condo because it will be very difficult for you to sell, especially for places like Manitoba. But if you're buying a condo maybe in Vancouver or, or Toronto, go ahead and buy. But any other place, to, condos are difficult to sell and they do not appreciate as fast as houses do. You know, if you're renting, it's fine. But if you're buying and you want to buy and live in a condo, just know that you've bought prison for yourself because you will not have any breathing space to do whatever you want to do. Too many rules. Oh, don't park there. Oh, don't do this. Oh, you pour, maybe mistakenly pour something on the floor. You, if you want, if you don't clean it on time, they are fining you hundred dollars. You cannot keep anything outside your corridor. Your Christmas lights, they'll tell you this is a period you can set it. After some while, you should remove it. You cannot like anything you do. If, if let's say something gets spoiled, let's say um, something gets spoiled in your own unit and that thing that got spoiled in your own unit is affecting the next person below you, automatically you'll be the one paying for it. So all these rules around condo is highly discouraging. And then you'll not even have privacy, which even brings me to my sixth reason. Like there is no privacy. The walls are thin. If the person who is upstairs above you is walking, you'll be hearing the person's footsteps. If the person moves his table, you will hear... 
your next door neighbor is by the side they are hearing your conversation you know your neighbor can even report you so there is no privacy at all for condos like you don't have any privacy of your own so what's the point of buying a property where you don't have a privacy i mean it doesn't make any sense to me does it make any sense to you to me it does it does not make any sense to me i know immigrants who just come in most people live in condos to save enough money for a house i would not recommend that people buy condos to live in especially if you have children if you have children especially if you have a new child a newborn and your newborn is crying and shouting your neighbor is hearing your neighbor will report you so i mean don't buy a condo because uh you might be disturbing your neighbors <laughs> don't buy a condo if you have children if you want your children to have privacy and play on their space and all of that buy a house this is not a debate anyway but i hope i've been able to give you reason to why buying a condo is not a good financial investment so if you want to buy a condo please think about it thoroughly think about it seriously first before you actually uh, go ahead to invest in buying a condo so this is the information I said I was going to share today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.